Hey, welcome back to Dying Light. Today we're going over how to get the Corrupted Justice Bow in the newest update in Hell Raid. It's not too difficult, so don't need to worry if you're new to Hell Raid. As you can see, I'm Legend Level 24 and I got through it with ease. Of course, spoilers throughout the video as I go into each individual step, but let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is enter Hell Raid, of course. The location is in the slums in our main tower, next to the merchant downstairs. Once inside, pull the lever in the center and head straight down to begin. This part is mainly self-explanatory as you head through the newly arranged area and you'll hear the occasional voiceovers from our man Lucius himself. It's a good thing for the story mode that they don't limit you on the amount of lives you get, so feel free to die a hundred times if need be. But you can't fail as of this point in time. I do recommend you save up all your throwing knives for the Minotaur as it makes for an easy kill. Once the boss is down, defeat the remainder of the guards and head to the treasure room. Lucius will begin to bring you to the next location. From here is where our true story begins. And our first objective is to find the cell in which he is chained to. Once you clear all the enemies from the end gate, turn around and climb up the obstacles. From this point, you could simply jump down, but on our first jump across, there is an activation candle. Use it for the actual passage he mentioned and continue your way through the area clearing enemies as you see fit. Once you head up the stairs, a lever will be directly in front of you to activate the gate below. Go ahead and proceed through the next door. Once you've cleared the enemies of the room, simply climb up and over the wall. Go ahead and defeat the two skeleton guards and then Lucius will open the gate for you. And here he is, the man himself, and we have to save him. Follow the crystals and destroy them. Hell Radians, as I like to call them, will be coming for you, so prepare yourself. Once you destroy the crystal, activate it, finish the remainder of the guards, and run back to Lucius. The best way to that ledge was climbing the beam behind it and jumping from there. A little side note, if you leave the area before destroying the crystal, it will regenerate its health back to max. 
but leaving the area after you destroy it does not regenerate it. Go ahead and activate your pillar, then make your way back. This area is an extension of the old room. It's where you would collect on your bounties, weapons, and continue the story. To continue, head through the portal he spawns in front of him. If you make the mistake of going through the rear exit like I did, no worries. Simply pause your game and return to the lobby. Defeat all the enemies in the room, and pull the lever to continue. Activate the next pillar, and head underwater for the first coffin. Make your way back, killing all spawned in enemies. Once in this area, go ahead and climb up to the top. Look on your minimap, there'll be an enemy located in the corner. Go ahead and defeat him and activate the next lever. There you will find your second coffer, and as soon as you pick it up, defeat all the enemies to move on. Once done, the gate located on the bottom floor will open for you to continue to our last coffer. Located in the final room can get a little tricky. It took me a second to realize, but once you finish all the enemies located in the room, go ahead and head up the stairs. Here located behind you on the wall beside the candle is the hidden fake wall. Go ahead and activate it to reach the last coffer. Once again, defeat all the enemies that spawn in trying to defeat you. Once done, head back to the previous room and place all your coffers in the center to receive your reward.
Now, using your justice, kill on the long range enemies in your sight. There are actually quite a few arrows scattered throughout this room, so no need to worry about ammo if you miss a few shots. Once you're done, Lucius will spawn in a portal to return you to the safe zone and give you some outro dialogue. I hope this tutorial was informative to anyone out there stumped on anything. I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video and subscribed for more. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you real soon.